guys, welcome back to my channel, Burst of Sunshine. It's Ashley. Today I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul because I love the Dollar Tree. Mine's a pretty good size. It's not like humongous, but it's a pretty good size. I got a lot of things that I could use for my Cricut, or even if you don't have a Cricut, you can use like fabric markers. You can just do all kinds of different DIYs with this, and I'm going to give you some examples of things I would do with these that I'm going to do with these as I go through them. So let's not ramble. Let's just do this. Let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start with one that I actually have already worked on. Um, this is going to be a gift for my sister in June for her birthday, but I just couldn't pass this up when I seen it. And it is a mesh beach bag. See, it, I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree because remember everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. So everything in this haul was one dollar. So I got this beach bag and as you can see, I used my Cricut and I put a monogram on it for her. So I'm thinking I'm gonna fill this up with some cute beach themed things, maybe like a cute towel, um, maybe something, just some stuff she can pack to the beach. And then this is this would be a great gift. You can make this for yourself. It's super easy. It doesn't use much vinyl. Or you maybe some needle and thread and embroider something, hand embroider like something on it. I mean, possibilities are endless. They come in different colors. They had, I just hit my head. They have like they had like pink and blue and just all kinds of different colors. I just wanted to get her a neutral one. But I mean, a dollar. Cheapest, best gift ever. Staying on the theme with bags, I also got these two tote bags. Now, one of these is a large purple one, and this is a smaller one. You see the size difference here? That's the difference. They were both a dollar. I got this one for me. I like to read. I go to the library a lot, and I read a lot. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this for my library books. And again, you can get fabric markers and write on these, or you can use a Cricut, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some kind of probably book-related quote, like I like big books and I cannot lie. <laughs> I mean, you can use Sharpies on these and just completely decorate it. I mean, the possibilities with a blank tote are endless. And again, they have different sizes, different colors. They again, keep in mind, all of these I actually got for Cricut projects, but you don't have to have a Cricut to do any of these. You can decorate them with whatever you want. You can use stickers, you can use markers, you can, you don't even have to decorate them. It's just a good deal for a buck water bottles. I have a workout buddy and at the moment she is pregnant and we used to go to the gym all the time and she got pregnant and we've not been able to go so I'm going to make her a cute little kit when she gets out of the hospital with a little personalized water bottle in a bag like a workout bag and like a, maybe a workout tank top with some kind of cute quote on it. She has a whole Pinterest board full of workout tops that she wants and I'm just gonna go get some inspiration and some ideas from that and I'm gonna make her her own little cute workout bag and now, let me just do a disclaimer. This could be offensive to someone if you randomly just give them workout stuff when they have a baby. They might take that offensively. She will not because she specifically actually just said to me this week, I can't wait to have this baby so I can get back in the gym. So this will not be offensive to her, but let me be a disclaimer. Don't go to the next person you know that has a baby and say, here's a gym kit, go to the gym and work out. Yeah, maybe don't do that, but she's completely fine with it because she's done mention she's ready to go back. So I'm going to make me and her both some cute little water bottles. Who doesn't need water bottles? Drink your water, kids. Water is important. If you haven't noticed, I'm the kind of person where if I see something I like, I buy it in every color and <laughs> I've done that a couple times and I actually have done it again. <laughs> so these are just little hats. I wished I had got a pink one and I didn't. I think it's a cute little hat for a buck. I'm going to put something on it. I don't know what yet. And then I showed it to my mom who wants a pink one and they didn't have pink when I went back. So she got purple. It'll match her purple tote bag. And uh, hers actually is eventually going to say bad hair day. But you could leave these plain because, I mean, they're cute little simple hats. Only a dollar. I mean, hello. Again, with the gift ideas, or even these are things you could, like, possibly even sell. You can come up with original designs and original quotes and stuff. You can even sell some of this stuff. Now, the next thing I got, again, bought it in multiple colors, is these hair brushes. And I like that they're metallic-y. They had different, like, solid colored ones, normal looking brushes. But I liked the metallic look of this. And again, I've got these, not for me, but for the back, you see this big empty space here, would be great for like a monogram or just like some kind of something cute and special for if you have any young girls in your life. I have two stepsisters and they are both preteens and um, I think that I'm going to get them both a brush and put something like a little personalized on each one of them. Okay, the next thing I got, um, I don't actually know what I'm doing with yet, but again, possibilities are endless and that's this. This is a sunglasses case. I am the world's worst for taking sunglasses and throwing them in my car or throwing them in my purse and then they are completely scratched up the next time I go to put them on. So if you get this little sunglass holder bags, it kind of, it'll protect it, it'll keep it from getting scratched up. And again, you can monogram it, you can take markers to it, you can take rhinestones to it. They have solid colored ones, they have them with patterns, I mean, sunglasses. It's got this little clip so someone can clip it on themselves or on their purse or on their bag or just somewhere. And I mean, 
people are, especially in the summertime coming up, sunglasses are going to be scratched all to crap. At least mine will. So I actually got myself a pink one of these and it's in my car. And um, But this is a great idea. Again, gift idea or for yourself, just a Cricut project you can do or just a project. Bling this out. You can decorate anything. You can go buy anything and decorate. I don't care what it is. You can take markers or a Cricut or rhinestones to it and you can bling it out and make it beautiful. The next thing, again, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but I liked it, was just this cute little makeup bag. It could be used as a makeup bag or um, a money bag. Let's see, like a pencil bag. And it says, it just says clutch with strap. Use it as a clutch. But again, it can be personalized. I'm thinking this would be cute with rhinestones because it's kind of a finally material. I feel like this would be cute with rhinestones. And it's got this cute little pattern, a swirly pattern all over it. And they had a ton of these, a ton. And these would be cute gifts. Oh, potential birthday or Christmas gifts. Hello. Let's buy these. Take a couple cheap um, nail polishes and like nail files, manicure stuff, put it in it. Zip it up. Personalize it with somebody's name. Boom. A manicure kit. Happy birthday. The last thing I got is kind of more specific to a certain type of thing and that is this football. And the reason I bought this is because of the colors. This is Florida Gator colors. No, I do not live in Florida. No, I don't think I've ever even been to Florida. This is actually, um, the reason I got this in the Florida Gator colors is not for me. It's a gift for someone else. I know someone who, um, has a birthday coming up and they have an entire room completely decorated to Florida, like Florida Gator shrine in this entire bedroom. And they have everything. They have posters. They have the bed sheets. They have, I'm talking signs, everything. They have footballs. So I found this and it was only a dollar. And I said, you know what? I can just like put something on it, maybe personalize it or just put Florida Gators on it or just even like this. I think he would like it because it would match his room. And they had these in different colors. They had blue and white ones. I don't know why I didn't get one for Kentucky, probably because Everyone I talk to that likes Kentucky thinks their football team sucks. Great deal, a buck, it'll be a good gift. All right guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share the love. And if you love it, sub it, because I'm here every week, guys. I'll see you guys next week.